Uh, you're going to see the best of the best. Uh, the good thing about today's teams are, I was telling uh, one of the fans a few minutes ago was, uh, both teams are going to possess players that play professionally overseas and college and high school level. So what's going to happen today is you'll see basketball is fine. It's fundamental basketball, competitive basketball. It's going to be a good game. Uh, it's significant because it's been around for a long time and a lot of guys that, you know, even before me and way before me have come out of here to go on and play major college basketball. Some have even gone over to play pro. Uh, some of the toughest competition has been played here. Well, it gives the youth and men something to do for the summer. Uh, this is Championship Sunday. Uh, 5.30 today we had Sun Bowl playing. Uh, we've got Junior Dirt Bowl playing right now. And of course the men are going to play at 7.30. Um, it, you know, they're always saying there's nothing for them to do. And this is a way of coming back to the park. I mean, the tradition of this program has been here for even before my time and they just look forward to coming to the park and participating. And of course, you can see we have a pretty nice little crowd here right now. Probably gonna be a little bigger for the men when they play tonight at 7 uh, a lot of game, A lot of good games, great talent in this league, you know what I'm saying? I know people got their own perception of Dirt Bowl, but I mean, it was a success. Well, it was fun to see most of the city come, or most of this neighborhood come out and watch everybody hoop, it's, it's nice. It's been a tradition for 30 plus years. I've been in it. I grew up watching the Dirt Bowl, grew up playing in the Dirt Bowl, I'm now coaching the Dirt Bowl. And it's just, for the summer, it's just one of the biggest things Lexington has. There's no way we should let this get away. And a lot of it got to do with Mr. Herb Washington. We got to keep Mr. Herb Washington's name alive. He started this thing back in what, 79, 69 ago? See, I don't even know it's how far back it goes. But we gotta keep Mr. Herb Washington's name alive. That's the main thing that why we gotta keep this dirt bowl going, because this is what he started. He started with one court. Now we got three. So we gotta keep it for Mr. Herb Washington. Well, I can tell you, uh, at my age, I played in dirt bowl when some of the legends, Mr. Brown and all those guys, uh, um, Mr. Forbes, uh, Mr. Washington, all of them were around. And uh, it's been around a long time. And at that time, when I played, it was the A and the B League. And of course, I was in the B League because those guys, professional and college players, were just top level players James Lee, Jack Gibbons, and all those guys. And so the league is around, has a lot of history. And so now, as we continue to teach the new players about the history, then it becomes significant to them. And now they come up and they're competitive, they compile competitive teams, and you know, just keeping their history alive. In fact, someone spoke to me through our Facebook page a few days ago and said, Hey, we're getting it back to where it once was. And that means that there's an interest based back and that uh, they understand the significance of the league difference um, just the stage of the game you know back then it was really 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 competitive uh, everybody played outside we didn't have the you know the video games and uh, you know the things that kept us in the house so everybody had to come to the park and play so it was non-stop all day long I think they feel like when they were younger there were men here that used to like be their role models show them how to do stuff taught them how to play and now that they're older same age as those gentlemen used to be they want to give back so we really appreciate that because we're always looking for volunteer coaches. Oh, just because it saved my life. It was one of the things that helped me get out of here. So, you know, when I came up here, I got to see real life guys who played college ball at UK's and at uh, K-States and uh, from the Louisville's and from the Indiana's that come down here and play in this tournament. So watching those guys and saying, hey, I really can go, if I can, if they can come down here and play, that means I maybe go out there and play. If they like basketball, you know, Kentucky's a basketball state. Uh, they see some good ball play. Um, when the men play tonight, I'm sure there's going to be a couple of nice dunks in there if they can get a breakaway. Uh, but just seeing how some of the young ones, this is where they start, and then eventually they want to get up there on the blue court. Well, it just understanding that it comes full circle. You know, uh, we had some guys that hand, ha gave me a helping hand and handed, helped me out through the rankings. So it's only right that I come back and pay homage to the place that helped me out. So, and I think once you keep doing that and you keep bringing guys back in after they've completed their careers, they come back and they just keep that cycle going, it, it, it'll stay, how can I say, fruitful. I mean, it's a part of our culture, you know what I'm saying? This is all we have here in Lexington. 
Durbo, this park, you know what I'm saying? Our outdoor league has been going on for years. And I mean, I feel like everybody should continue to support it. It's getting better. We, we're trying to recruit more teams next year. You've seen the last five years, you know, we've been doing good. And you got pros, college players, high school players. We just wanted to keep growing each year. I mean, it was lit. I didn't expect it to be to this much people, but, you know, it was fun. I think I held my own in every level that I played on. Uh, my motto was always been leave your name, and I think I did that everywhere I went. Uh, I'm lucky. I'm blessed to be the uh, director here. I supervise the league. Uh, I'm, I'm my current position. I'm responsible for making sure the referees are here, and making sure that the teams are here to play, making sure that the games actually, you know, take on place each day. Um, that's my main role here, and then just to make sure we bring a quality basketball for the fans, for the community. And so that's the interesting part here, and I'm blessed to be a part of it. Uh, my role is really. I, they say it's significant, but it's insignificant until the point that, you know, we put that product out there, then it becomes significant because then if it's not, people are going to say something. If it is, people are going to say something. So, hey, you know.